All right, we are back in the booth tonight. Uh, this isn't gonna be a painting video. I was just gonna share a little bit about how to be a better custom painter. Um, I was gonna tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been painting for about eight years. Uh, when I started this, I, I didn't know anyone. I didn't ever do anything artsy. So with that being said, what I'm saying is you can do whatever you want to do if you want to do it. Uh, I went out, bought me a master airbrush and a little master compressor, and off I went. I uh, started painting, didn't know anything about it. I watched YouTube videos and uh, kind of like what everybody's doing. If somebody would have told me eight years ago that I'd have been making YouTube videos, painting fishing lures, I would have, <laughs> I would have laughed at them. Uh, well, the first thing I did, I, I actually joined a group. Groups can be good or bad. Um, you can get with a good group and get with a lot of good people uh, that'll help you and kind of teach you as you go because you're new. And then there's some that... <laughs> They want to keep all their secrets to themselves. And to be honest with you, I, I just think that's wrong. I think if you're going to be in the group, that's what the group should be about anyway, is to kind of have a good time. It's a hobby. I know some of these guys have businesses, and that's great. I did it for a while. I, I haven't sold in years. I, um, I just like to do it as a hobby. I kind of lost my love for it, so I, I stopped selling. It was hard doing a full-time job. And then coming home and paint until midnight every night. I kind of got tired of it. Oh. Uh, so back to the title of the video. How to be a better custom painter. I think one of the things you got to know is your airbrush. And just like I said, you can have... You can paint with an airbrush that's $50. Or you can paint one that's six, $700. They're, they get expensive. Um, I've got a few right here. I use a... Creos PS771, I've got two of them. I use a HPCH, which is an excellent gun. It's an Iwata. I have the workhorse that probably every custom painter in the world has used, and that is the Iwata Eclipse. And I've really pretty much slapped more of this thing out. It is a, it's a very good gun. I also have a couple Sotars, which is a very excellent um, detailed gun for the money. Um, but you got to know it and you got, not only do you have to know what it does, you got to know how to operate it. You know, you can't go in there. It's like, I, I come to the shop just about every day. Even when my hands were messed up, I still would practice. I didn't paint lures every day. I think that's a big mistake. I think you got to really learn how to use your airbrush. And like I said, I've been doing it eight years and I, there's still things I learn every day about my airbrush or something to do with this hobby. Um, but, but practice with it. Don't, don't just pound out blanks. I mean, I, I think that you really miss out on being a custom painter by not knowing how to use the airbrush. So that's tip number one. Number two is um, air pressure. <laughs> When I started this thing, I think I, I had it on wide open all the time when I first started. And I thought I was doing something. I kind of looked back over the years. I I know I've kept the first lure I ever painted. It was a, a pearl bait with a blue top. And I just thought that I was it. Um, and I look back on the stuff that I did years ago and I'm going, wow. <laughs> you know, you, you've come a long way. Oh. Uh, but the air pressure is critical. You got to know when to spray on low pressure, um, when not to. Uh, and what goes hand in hand with that is actually your paints. Paints, good gosh, there's so much out there. I mean, you really, to be a custom painter, you, you really have to educate yourself on what paints are out there. Uh, You've got, you know, the Wicked line, Createx Illustration. You got Golden. Uh, you've got the Lure Build line. You've got Metallics, Pearls, Opaques, the Candies. Um, you got to know what UVLS is, what it does. 
Um, you got to know which reducer to use. You know, you have 4011, 4012, 4013. You don't just go grab one of them. They all have different um, different circumstances when you use them. Uh, you have the inks, which are excellent. Uh, you have all the different sealers you use. There's so much that you could did you, that you really need to know, and that's you know part of being in the group. You know, I, I was very very lucky to meet some really good people. Um, I'm not going to mention a bunch of names because I'm surely as world will forget one. But I did. I met a lot of good people, uh, and they're really the reason where I'm at today. Um, because everybody's had help. I don't care what they say. Anybody you've seen out there that's been painting for a while has had somebody that has shared stuff with them and talked with them. And really, I, I think that's where we we miss it in the groups. Um, is we need to share with the people that are new. It's just a hobby. I mean, yeah, you are, if you are selling, that's great. But, you know, the, the thing is about that is every custom painter is different. Oh, uh, what Joe Blow paints and it's great. I'm not going to paint that. Just like whatever I do, I don't care if somebody tries to replicate it because nine times out of 10, it, they're going to have their own twist to it because they, that's their style. Everybody's style is different, believe it or not, and, you, and that's just the way it is. Um, but it's all critical in what you're doing um, and learning, you know, through the groups. You know, what paints to use? How, how do you like that airbrush? Why do you use such a small needle? Why, you know, why do you use such a larger needle? Um, you got 0.5s, 0.35s, 0.3s, 0.2s, 0.18s, 0.15s. I mean, you got to know what it does. And that's why it's critical to practice a lot. So you know what the airbrush that you have, what it's gonna do, how it's gonna perform, and what you're gonna be able to deliver when it comes time to paint your lures, especially if you're doing orders for people. Um, blanks is another thing. Uh, you, there's good blanks out there and there's, there's junk blanks out there. You know, I've bought from everybody. Um, I've met a lot of good people uh, I deal with uh, Jimmy at Lure Build, uh, Luis at Alternative. I deal with Carrie at Backwater. I bought from Shane at Sugar Tit. Uh, there, I don't think there's any. I, I bought from Cedar Run. I don't know him personally, but that's who I used when I first started. Um, and there is. You, you've got to be smart, especially if you're selling. I just want them good because that's what I fished. Most of the stuff I paint goes in my tackle box, so... I want something that I'm going to enjoy that I'm not going to fight. Um, and one other thing about the paints uh, I forgot was they're solvent paints too. I use a lot of um, custom paints, uh, House of Colors. You got to know how that's going to react, whether your airbrush is able to even spray that and how it's going to, you know, you've got to use totally different reducers and cleaners for that uh, in the process that, that'll, that'll take your paint to the next level. Um, Top coats is another thing. I mean, good gosh almighty, the, the choices are just crazy. You got uh, lure coat epoxy, you got true coat epoxy, you got BSI, you've got um, DEFCON, you've got Aluma UV, you got KBS. And, you know, we watch all the videos and everything's the next best thing, you know, the, uh, the next best thing in the world. Um, better than a buttermilk biscuit, you know, whatever. But, you know, you got to have people that you can trust, that you can talk to and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. Do you think that'll be a good fit for my style of painting? What I'm selling, you know, what, you know, what I'm doing to get the, the effect that I'm trying to get. Um, so with that being, oh, and you got the eyes. Eyes is another critical thing. I think um, your eye choice is... Uh, they, I mean, really, the eyes that I use, I think half the time they make the baits that I paint. Um, I use Jetson eyes. I use them from Barlow's. I use them from Lure Build. I bought them from um, Carry at Backwater. I bought them from Shane at Sugar Tit. I've bought them everywhere. Um, and it's, you know, it, it, it's a critical piece of finishing up your lures. Along with stencils, I've met two of the greatest guys you'll ever meet in Russ Allen and Insane Custom Stencils and Jeff at Whitmore Farm. 
Uh, you, you're not going to find two better guys. All you got to do is message them. They'll do custom stuff for you if they don't already have it. And good Lord, they all have a ton of it. That is taking my painting to the next level alone is the stencils that I use. Um, the, the stencils are totally critical. Um, so take the time, learn your airbrush. Take the time, learn about the different paints and the reductions from the metallics, the pearls, the candies, the shift paints, the illustrations, the solvents. You know, you got to know your business. There's so much out there that could help you take your painting to the next level. Uh, know your, like I said, know your reducers. They're not all the same. 4011, 4012, and 4013. That's why they have numbers. They're different. So make sure you understand what you're using. Um, and if they're, like I said, join you a good group, find you, uh, find you a good group of people that'll help you, especially if you're new, that will get you to the next level too, because you, you're going to have to have help. You're not going to know this stuff. I, it, it took me years. I'll be honest with you. Like I said, I've been painting eight years. I don't really feel like I've came into my own until the last couple that I really felt good that I could just pick my airbrush up, paint it and being colorblind, you know, it's, 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 it's a little difficult. I, I was speaking to Whitney, <laughs> another painter who's colorblind. It's kind of funny. I have to take my eyes over to my wife and get her to label them for me because I don't, I can't always tell the colors and you know, it's, it's funny, but, um, but it's the truth and, and it's a hobby and I love it. Uh, I, I really have a passion for this. That's something else you got to have. If you're going to be a good custom painter, you, you got to have a passion and you got to be committed. And when you commit, you got to deliver. And that's the way it is. So if you like the video, hit the like button, um, subscribe. You've uh, Really, y'all have done a great job with supporting me. Hit the bell notification so you'll know when I'm doing upcoming videos. I got a lot of stuff planned here in the next two weeks. I've already pumped out a couple of videos here in the last couple of days. I'm really gonna crank it up because um, I'm starting to have fun with it again. Um, so like I said, Oh, uh, thanks a lot and I'll catch you next time.